Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day, finally, uh, the first video of my challenge, Unconventional Materials Challenge is here and I'm going to talk about it in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get started with the DIY number one. For the first project, I'm using this oatmeal container. First, I'm going to take the label off and after that, I will cut this um, cylinder um, lengthwise like I'm showing over here, a little bit above the half. So this is what I was left with. One side already had um, the side and this is what it uh, what I'm showing over here. And the other one I will create by cutting this leftovers um, of the top off. So I'm going to hot glue that on the other side. So now we have um, half cylinder kind of a um, shape. And then um, after I was done with the building the shape, I'm going to go ahead and start decorating it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this um, summer hat from the Dollar Tree. You know, guys, I love this. If you um, ever come across it, grab it. It's amazing for a lot of projects. So now I have this huge strip and I'm going to start um, adding it to the bottom. The curvy part of this uh, cylinder so I'm gonna hot glue uh, strips next to each other so um, I'm not gonna overlap them this time like I did in my previous uh, project or actually previous video with the pumpkin I'm gonna just hot glue them like I'm showing over here next to each other so after I was done with um, hot gluing the whole uh, bottom this is how it looks like so pretty already okay now next thing will be to fill up the sides i'm gonna cut off two strips and then i'm gonna cut the sides sides a little bit um kind of a in a curvy um way so it can fit nicely in there and i'm gonna do the same thing with the second strip so it can fit nice and snug. And I'm using my hot glue for that. This is how one side looks like. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. When both sides are done, this is how it looks like. It's coming along. Okay, next thing will be to take more strips and I will um, actually attach on that uh, um, long side. First, I'm gonna just hot glue right in the middle of that long side. And when I was done with that part, I'm going to start folding them inwards and um, outwards. You see what I'm doing over here? Kind of just start like overlapping those edges, making sure they look nice and neat and clean. Now that I have this done, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And here, here is how it looks like. Now I'm going to continue adding it to the places where you can see cardboard. So I'm adding it over here on that kind of outer edge of that cylinder. And then um, when I was done hot gluing this part, there's a little part kind of hanging because this strip was a little bit wider than this cardboard part. But I'm going to just cut that off and then I'm adding another strip like I did earlier uh, alongside and then I will just hot glue and overlap the inner part and outer part to make it again look nice and seamless and kind of nicely finished. And again, this is how it looks like after both sides are done. And the only thing left to do is to put on the top over here another strip to cover it up. So pretty much I was just covering um, all the parts, outer parts and um, corners. Um, so everything looks really, really nice and nicely finished. So after everything was done, um, it really, really looks nice and polished. 
So the next thing I'm going to, uh, so here how it looks like. <laughs> so the next thing I am going to do, I will go ahead and take wood dowels. So uh, these wood dowels are actually from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to measure across how uh, much I have to cut off of them. And after cutting them off, I will just sand those edges a little bit. And then I will take this um, actually antique wax, yes, by Waverly and um, old sock and I will just stain it. After that, I'm taking four smaller beads, wooden beads that are similar color to that um, antique wax. I will put two on each corner and then I will put a dowel across. So I'm using hot glue to attach all that. And I will do exactly the same thing on the other side. These were, are representing, as you can see, a little handles. When everything was done, this is how it turned out. So cute, I love this. And now this is how I filled it out with some raffia, with some um, fillers, acorns and um, walnuts. It's just so beautiful. I didn't have very small pumpkins, but if you recreate this and you have very small pumpkins, you could certainly do that. You can make a, a larger um, basket than this if you're using very large container. It is, you saw how easy it was to make. It really was easy. It was, let's say maybe 45 minutes. Um, it took me 45 minutes to add all this, but it really, it's not hard. So I really hope you like it because I love it. Okay, guys, let's talk about this challenge. I've been promoting it for a while. It is Unconventional Materials Craft Challenge, which uh, means that you guys and me, whoever is participating, it just needs to use things that are not really intended for crafting to create some beautiful projects. And these are the rules. Um, but most important rule is really just to have fun and share your beautiful projects with other people. Now, my co-host for this month is Dave over at uh, Dave's Reads and Things. Unfortunately, he had some things, um, some circumstances that he could not finish his video in time. But as soon as he is done, he will add his video to the playlist. Okay, DIY number two. For this project, I'm using clothespins. Um, and then first, I'm going to start with these Jenga blocks. I already had this from previous project. That's why they're glued um, two together. But basically, you need 12 of these. And I'm going to hot glue six together first and then six uh, together again. And then I will hot glue these uh, six and six together to create this uh, rectangle. Then I am taking uh, four clothespins and I will align them to create kind of a uh, first layer of this lantern and I am making sure that they're um, touching each other but not really overlapping so um, I am just going to hot glue them now and then when I'm going to the next layer I will make sure that clothespins are positioned opposite way from the one underneath so you will see over here in just a second I'll show you so if you see over here there are uh, position so they're going opposite direction so now I'm going to go all the way up until I was happy with the height and this is how it looks like when it was done so so beautiful now I wanted to make it more fall looking so I just added green and natural color raffia and um, I created bow out of it and I just decided to put it on the top and that's pretty much it but if you take this off it can certainly be used any time of the year. I just dropped LED small candle in it and this is how it looks like. How beautiful is this? I love it. Um, I think it's just so easy to make, very, very easy to make. And it cost me uh, less than a dollar, let's say maybe a dollar with all this raffia and Jenga blocks. But I think it's so beautiful. You can make it as large as you want or as small as you want or as tall as you want just depending on your preferences. And I'm gonna show you over here in just a second how it looks in a little bit darker room. I filmed this in the middle of the day so I couldn't make it so dark, but look how beautiful it is, how it illuminates the light. And uh, if you want, you can stain these or you can just paint them or leave them as it is. They're beautiful either way. But I wanna hear what you guys think about this one. 
Okay, DIY number three. For this project, basically you can use old books that you have. I did not have any old books that I wanted to cut up. So I just printed out a few pages um, of the books um, writing. And then uh, I'm going to use leaves that I picked up uh, on our walks and jute wine. I already over here uh, created a template where I want to cut um, these pages to create kind of a banner looking um, uh, page is that how you piece <laughs> and then over here I'm showing only four but I actually ended up with six pieces because I wanted a larger banner and I'm just hot gluing at these leaves right in the middle of this cutout and that's the first step after I was done attaching all of them I'm gonna go ahead and take um, um, juice twine and first I will uh, fold the top part of this uh, paper and then I will attach um, with a hot glue the juice twine and then I will um, flip over or actually put a hot glue the paper on top of it you see what I'm doing over here it's probably easier to see than to explain <laughs> So I just wanted to make sure it's all nice and secure. And after I was done with all of them, this is how they look like. I think they look so gorgeous on my mantle with all the colors and um, the, simpl the simplicity of it is what um, I love. You guys know that I love simple projects. I love um, projects that you can create inexpensively and fast. And this is something that really has a great impact and is really fall and it couldn't be simpler and more inexpensive to make so i want to hear what do you guys think about this one would you recreate it For all of you that are new, I want to introduce myself. I'm Yelena, stay-at-home mom of two kids. Love, love, love crafting and doing DIY projects on a budget, mostly in farm, uh, rustic and farmhouse style, even though I started exploring some modern style as well. I'm on an Instagram purchase and Facebook. If you're on a social media, come and join me. Just say hi. I really like to get to know new people and my audience. Also, my regular upload times on Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Hope to see you there. Okay, DIY number four. I'm taking two of these metal tins that I um, washed off, used up and washed off. So uh, my cutter actually is cutting very nicely. There is no sharp edges and I can just press the lid on and it's actually um, closed up very tightly. So now I'm using these two um, paints that I have on hand. One you saw in my previous video is just latex paint and the other one I mixed up two acrylic paints and I'm adding, I added um, some um, baking soda to create that texture and look of kind of like a ceramic look. And then I am painting one with the one color, the other one with the other one. So over here I'm showing you how when you put a thicker layer and you're using your um, heat uh, tool it kind of bubbles up and it gives that wrinkled texture uh, and you see it over here after it dries that's how it looks like i love that and i think it's so such a great technique so now i'm taking this uh, nautical rope from the dollar tree cutting off two pieces and i will hot glue them right in the middle of that lid which will represent the stem as you can see and um, i will secure it with a hot glue and after that i am going to take raffia again to create bows so i'm taking green raffia a few strands of it and creating a super simple bow the one that i always like to create and i'm hot gluing it on a base of that stem and cutting off the tails and then i'm taking natural color raffia and i am going to do the same thing uh, and attach it to the smaller orange pumpkin so after i was done with this that's it for this project it is so cute and this is pretty much trash a treasure because i had everything on hand and instead of throwing it i'm reusing it and creating beautiful beautiful decor now guys i want to hear what do you guys think which one was your favorite would you recreate any of these and i'm so excited to see everybody's creations i um 
thank you everybody for being here and uh, make sure to go ahead and check out the playlist in the description box that I'm going to have for you to see what everybody else created. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.